I'm Daisy Thompson. And I'm Brandon Thompson. We're originally from Chicago, but we live in Los Angeles. We recently had a little baby, Amani. She's only a few months old. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Oh, there you go. And we've had Milo, our dog, for about a year and a half. He is our firstborn. Milo is five years old. He is a multi poo terrier mix. Milo has been to one shelter, one rescue, a foster family, and then to us. He basically was the patron saint of lost causes down at the shelter from the way that they presented it. They would be like, hey, just want to let you know, like, he's got a bad record. And then when we met him, we were just like, this guy? <laughs> he's the fluffy little 20 pound dude. He's a super cuddly, smart dog. He kind of like pounces when he <laughs> yeah. walks. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy needs a second chance. So we took him. OK, buddy. OK. And then we learned the second day that we had him that he has a dark side. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. I remember I was telling him to sit for the treat. So I reach out and I touch his butt to like show him like, hey, this is what I mean by sit. And he's like, oh, I don't like that. And that's when he bit me. And it drew blood. It was like a pretty long gash. It's OK, Milo. It's OK. Milo has bitten us probably between the two of us about 10 times. Maybe a little more, 10 to 15, maybe. He has bitten friends and family members. Sorry. Sorry. Anytime that Milo bites or nips at you, it's like your little friend, and so you feel betrayed. It's like a switch turns off, and for those 10 seconds, he's this scary, dog. When we got him, his vet record said that he had a tail injury. We think it hurt him and traumatized him. I'm not sure when to trust Milo. So the things that we know will trigger him, we just kind of avoid. We kind of learned, like, oh, we have to make sure that we're being extra careful with him, <laughs> touching his body. <laughs> Anything about resources, feeding him. Milo, no! we're pulling him away from, stuff that he just shouldn't have, like chicken bones or anything that's on the ground. Drop it. And anybody or anything that comes in between him and that resource, that's when he kind of, you know, gets into his ferocious instincts. The biggest fear we have would be that Amani would trigger his anxiety and he would move to being aggressive with her. We avoid any kind of interactions with Milo and Amani. Milo biting Amani is the biggest concern that we have. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to look past that. Yeah, that, you know, yeah, that would be really challenging. We would have to decide to take him back to a rescue or a shelter. It would be devastating. We love Milo despite, yeah. you know, his behavior. We're willing to do anything that we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. We need Caesar's help. 